um, what I want to do now for the next, I don't know, 15 minutes or so is talk about the running time. Short. How long to go from this unsorted input array to the sorted output array? Okay? And by running time, I mean the number of lines of code, the number of operations executed. Okay? So, uh, you know, I'm going to be formal about this, and we'll see why that doesn't matter in just minutes or so. Um, but what I want you to think about is tracing through this algorithm or the source code in a debugger. Right? So every time you hit enter, another line. So what I'm asking is how many times you have to hit enter until the merge sort algorithm terminates. Okay? That's what happened by the number of lines of code executed. Okay? And so let's start simple. Okay, so this is a recursive algorithm, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, let's just say, what about just one invocation of our merge subroutine? Okay, let's start simple. So let's suppose that we invoke merge. How many operations are there? Now that's a slightly ambiguous question, depending on exactly what we count as a line of code or as an operation. But I'm, I'm going to make some executive decisions, okay, about what exactly is my code and what's not. We, got? we have um, this initialization step, so we kind of have two operations, just one offs. At the end. Now we have this for loop, which clearly runs n times. Now what happens inside the for loop? Well, we do a test, we do a comparison, so that's one operation. And no matter which way the test comes out, we do two further operations, right? We do it a copy over to C, an increment. Okay, so there's going to be three operations, iteration of the, of the for loop. And moreover, we need to increment K, we need to increment the loop. So I'm going to call that one operation as well. Summarizing. For loop iteration. Okay, one for the loop increment, one for the comparison, one for the copy, one for the increment. Okay. And again, you could quibble and say, well, maybe the loop should really be two operations per iteration, both a comparison and an increment. We'll talk about it in a minute why it's not a big deal. Well, it's not, it doesn't make a big difference in the decisions you make uh, in those kinds of things. Okay? So what's the upshot? So the running time of merge in general on an array of let's call it M numbers, okay, because we'll be interested in it, in it in other sizes as well. On an array of M numbers is four M plus two. Right, and that's what we argued on the top board. Okay, if the array length is m, it's going to be m iterations of the loop. And let me write down something which is correct, but kind of laughably sloppy, but it'll just make our life easier. So instead of 4m plus 2, let's just, between friends, call this the most 6m. Okay, which is valid. It's, of course, very sloppy, but it is true since m is at least 1. Any questions just on one invocation of merge? Okay, this is sort of the easy, this is the easy part. If it's not clear, let me know.